Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying fractions with cancellation. You know what on video to because in our previous video, some of the viewers ay nag-comment na, Sir, can you please do cancellation method? Or sinasabi naman nila na mas madali mag-cancellation method. So, we have here two different examples to show you how to do or how to perform multiplying fractions with cancellation. So, without further ado, Let's do this topic. So basically, number one, we have 7 over 6 times 3 over 9. So ano ba yung purpose ng cancellation method? Yung purpose kasi ng cancellation method is that magka-cancel tayo para hindi na mas maging malaki yung numbers natin. Okay? Dahil mas mahirap, it is difficult for us to simplify a fraction if the numbers are quite big. Let's say for example, we have 7 times 3, it will give you 21. Then you also have 6 times 9, which is equal to 54. 21 over 54 ay masyado na malaki at may, medyo mahihirap nang isimplify para sa mga bata. So, ang target natin ngayon is to use cancellation method. Let's try. We have 7 over 6 times 3 over 9. So you need to observe, ano ba yung pwede? Ang pwede natin cancel ay yung nasa taas sa cancel ba? So as you can see, we have here 6 and 3 at pwede rin naman yung 3 at saka 9. Pero mas use kasi tayo sa pag cross cancellation. Okay? So we will try to cancel out 3 and 6. Meron kasi tayo ritong, meron silang greatest common factor na 3. So when we divide 3 by 3, that is equal to 1. And then when we divide 6 by 3, that is equal to 2. Or in other words, meron tayong isang 3 kay 3 at meron tayong dalawang 3 kay 6. So, observing the numbers, as you can see, we have 7, 1, 2, and 9 at wala na tayo pa ni cancel out. So, we will proceed with multiplication. That is 7 times 1 which is equal to 7 over 2 times 9 which is equal to 18. So, as you can see, this fraction is already simplified. That's why our answer is 7 over 18. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given 3 different fractions. Still, we will use cancellation method. 4 over 5 times 8 over 9 times 15 over 16. So tignan natin ano mga pwede natin simplify dito. First, we have this one. 5 and, five and 15, right? So dito pwede natin gawin dito is that itong 5 natin, cancel natin, sa yung 15. Meron silang greatest common factor na 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by, fa uh, 15 divided by 5, which is equal to 3. Another, ay pwede natin cross cancellation yung 8 sa 16. Meron silang greatest common factor na 8. So meron tayong 1 na 8, at meron tayong 2 na 8 sa 16. Okay, pero hindi pa tayo tapos ha. Meron pa tayong pwede cancel. As you can see, when we cancel out 8 and 16, meron tayo rito natirang 2. Meron pa tayong 4 dito. So we can still cancel this 1. Magiging 1 na lang siya. We can still cancel 4. Magiging 2 siya. Okay? Ang dami, ba? And then, itong 3 natin, we can still cancel out 3 by 9. Cancel na ito. Magiging 1 na lang siya. Ito magiging 3. So as you can see, here are the numbers. What we have now is 2 times 1, times 1. Again, banal ito na kayo ha. 2 times 1 times 1, which is equal to 2, all over 1 times 3 times 1, which is equal to 3. So, in multiplying 4 over 5 times 8 over 9 times 15 over 16, using cancellation method, what we have here is 2 over 3 as our final answer. Marami tayong cancel out, and I hope na hindi ka na ito ha. Okay? So, I hope guys na natutoy sa video natin and for your assignment, this will be your assignment na kailangan yung sagutan sa ating comment section I will allow you to answer this We have 14 over 25 times 10 over 9 What do you think is the answer here? You can multiply this fractions with cancellation method So if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!